not that way in supine, which we'll look at in this time. But this is probably the ideal position for measuring elbow flexion. All right, why don't you show them the exact motion you want to do. Okay, we're going to do clarify just like this. Okay. And, and then, why, why did you just do that? Because you want to show the exact motion, motion for him. So okay. Do. And one more thing. And um, do the range of motion that he can do passively. Available range of motion. Does it look like he had full... say, Brooke, that he was not able to flex at all against gravity. Okay. What do you have to do that? Have him... And just, oh. You can just tell him what to do. Okay. So you're going to abduct 90, an elbow at 90. Yeah? And then... So that's okay. If you mess up, they'll make it even more glorious. <laughs> <laughs> glorious. Great. Glorious. He's going partial move motion, not the full range of motion, and uh, without gravity. Gravity can last. Yeah. Uh, so he looked less than halfway. So what would that be? Well, it doesn't matter if it's partial. Yeah, she did good. You did good. <laughs> so when you do this, so she put him in a gravity minimized position, right? And just relax him right here. So you should be fully supporting him. He shouldn't be having to use his abductors to hold it. Just make sure you demonstrate the movement here, too. I want you to bring your okay. arm in like that for me. Okay, you can do that. You want me to go all the way? Do whatever you want. Okay. Okay, so I'm supporting him, but I'm not assisting him, right? I'm just holding up his upper extremity. Okay, very good so far. Let's see if you have a good ending now. <laughs> or if you just totally know. blow it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so you've got some muscles you can palpate. Uh, show me where you would palpate uh, biceps, first of all. I'm sorry, on muscle man. Oh, on muscle man. Uh, uh, that arm or this arm? Or? Oops, do that right there. Okay, right there. Okay. If you wanted to palpate brachialis. Okay. Or, or either side. side. So you're right. Okay. And brachial radialis. saying you're, he's too weak to do the movement, but you can't even hold it up like that, John. Very good. All right. So, how are you going to do it? Would I do it? No, it's 
texture better? This way? You have to have it in that position. Because I'd ask him to hold it, I know, and palpate. He can't hold it up. Yeah, All right, ball. who can help work it out here? Because this there was a lot of uh, confusion about this on the last skills test. Uh, Deborah. You just she would just support his arm in that position, and he, she would just say, "Hold this position for me while right. she's palpating." Right. But how am I going to hold here and hold here right. and palpate? Is what I'm saying. Like, like <laughs> this. You don't, you don't have to hold okay. It. All right. So you're you're too weak to flex it, Mr. Abbott. So I'm just going to put him in the position. Palpate. So okay. I hold it right there while I'm dropping. You can't hold it up. So you He's don't have to support to. the elbow. No. Oh, okay. So, so gravity's making gravity's the resistance here that he can't hold against. Okay. Okay. So again, uh, we want to try to get this two typical ways to get a muscle to contract. Get him to just try to do the movement. Bend your elbow up for me. The other one is put it in that movement so that gravity is going to make it move in the other direction and try to get him to hold it there. Hold it. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. See if the muscle contracts. 